A low water never hurt anyone, right? People don't think about their homes being torn in half, their houses collapsing, or the effect that flooding can have on not just the real estate market, but on their homes in general. This, your safe place where you make your warmest memories just swept away in an instant. In 2021, the town of Waverly, Tennessee had a massive flood where 10 to 12 inches fell over the course of two days. During this one flood alone, 20 people perished and over $101 million of property damage was done to 523 homes, completely destroying 273 of them. This is just one of the many significant floods of the recent years. But the physical damages are just the beginning. Floods are extremely traumatic and cause devastation all around the globe for all communities. Because of how sudden they are and how they're brought on without any predictability, victims of floods can be left feeling trapped. Organizations even made to aid populations in crises like these cannot fix the pain inflicted on flood victims. And that's why we created AquaShield. We prioritize safety because life and the sentimental value and the things that you care about most have no price. AquaShield does more than just protect you from paying a lengthy bill. We protect you, your life, your home, and soon we'll protect the world and future generations. Because that's what AquaShield is here to do. The trough sits above a slab foundation and is able to encase the curtain which, hold, which is able to protect the house from any possible flooding. It is raised by eight deployable hooks which come down from the attic area where a winch sits inside and is able to pull it up via the command of a remote control or a water sensor. Floods are a major part of insurance premium costs and each flood adds to that cost. In 2019, the average homeowner's insurance policy was $700. In 2021, that same policy was $953, an increase of 36%. The population of Tennessee is 6.829 million, and 11% of Tennesseans are uninsured, which means those Tennesseans are not protected. When building a prototype of AquaShield, the base, walls, and roof were all CAD using TinkerCAD and Fusion 360. We built the base in TinkerCAD, then 3D printed it, then designed the walls in Fusion 360, and laser cut them from wood, and finally, we built the roof in TinkerCAD, and laser cut it out of plastic. Remote C allows us to easily compile and send out our builds to the module. Meanwhile, Arduino is giving us easy compatibility with our sensors.